All right, Brady Moe with Go Hunt here, and today I got the man, the myth, the legend, John Barco himself <laughs> came in, and I'm really excited because it's really hard because he said he was bringing some new products in, and I did my best to not look at them at all. It's the first time I've seen them, so I'm really excited to uh, dive in and figure out the details of these. So what, what we actually got in front of us right now. Yeah, so what we're looking at, what we have new for fall 2023 is Sitka's got a merino wool program. Program. A program, and what I mean by that is we've got three weights of merino wool now, a lightweight, a midweight, and a heavyweight wool, uh -huh. both men's and women's, and we've got lots of different styles within each of those um, weights. So the lightweight is going to be 120 grams. Okay. Very the good. midweight, which you'll see uh, in the intercept hoodie, and there's a zip tee, is going to be 220 gram. Yep. And then in the heavyweights, that's a 330 gram. Okay. So three very distinct weights. And then within that, there's lots of different profiles. So what we wanted to do is, one, we wanted to update the wool we had. So what you see here, it's a 17 and a half micron. So a very fine mm -hmm. micron wool. Most people should have no issue putting that next to their skin. It yep. should feel comfortable and, and do well for them. But we wanted to look at different construction methods of that wool because one thing that you run into with with wool especially in the weights we're talking is a lack of durability and so you want it to last we want it to last right so we um you know kind of scoured the globe and we, we came up with a different construction method um, that we're calling armor spun armor so spun. this is the armor spun merino wool program for sitka and, and what armor spun is is essentially taking a bundle of wool and then wrapping that bundle of wool in a, at a fiber size with a nylon thread. And so what you get by that is you get all the great properties of merino wool. Yep. So you get that soft feel, right? That comfort, yeah, that, that moisture management. Good. You get that natural antimicrobial property so it's not going to stink at all. And what the nylon thread on the outside does is basically apply some armor to it, right? It applies that nylon as, as a durable thread against um, abrasion that you would get if you didn't have that. <laughs> so this 120 gram, which is our lightest weight base layer, you know that is a very lightweight wool. Most yep. are 150 to 170. Some will even push to 190 and call it lightweight. This is a 120. So what type of seasonality are you looking at with that lightweight one? Like so for 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 us, the the lightweight merino can be a year-round product. So Perfect. you can wear this independent on its own in hot weather. It's yep. gonna manage that moisture, it's gonna manage your smell. But then you can layer over top of that with the mid or heavy as the seasons progress yeah, and conditions get colder. Um, the other thing we wanted to do is within the silhouettes, we wanted to bring some of our most popular silhouettes from the synthetic line into wool. So think core lightweight hoodie, oh, think fanatic hoodie. Yep. We wanted to represent those in wool. And so I brought in the merino 120 lightweight and it's got a center front half zip it's got a zippered chest pocket a hood with a wool perforated face mask so basically this is a wool core, core lightweight. lightweight right so one of, of our most of popular pieces now you have that option to wear that in wool if you want right i yep. can see the smile on your face oh, and so that's going to be you know, super good for, you know, those early season mule deer hunts or those antelope hunts or even some of the, the earlier season elk hunts, right? Yep. Where you can wear that as a standalone and then just layer over top as you need it. And you're not gonna have to, you know, deal with the stink that some people have mm -hmm. when they wear synthetic. Um, the, the 120, which I, I talked about in, a, in another video is showcased in our intercept hoodie. So that's our new uh, hoodie for spot and stalk hunting. It's got elbow pads. It's got a hood and face mask. Yep. We've never had that 220 before, so that's something new. That also comes in a uh, a half zip, and then there's a boxer, etc. Um, multiple Ooh. colors, multiple patterns. Every weight has a different solid color associated with it. Gotcha. So you also have the option to get solids. Um, in the bottoms, it's it's only solid, so mm -hmm. that, that makes it easier for people. Are they all hoods as well? Uh, they are not. So there's zip tees, there's okay. crews, and there's, and there's hoodies. Um, in the heavyweight, 
And, and, this, uh, and the reason I brought this in, in Elevated 2 is because this should get the, the, the whitetail hunter really excited. The Fanatic hoodie that everybody loves, right? A core piece to our line, our whitetail line. Um, we have that now in, essentially we have that now in heavyweight wool. So what you see here is a 330 gram heavyweight beta beta spawn armor spun wool you have the kangaroo pouch right which is great you have the hands. hood you have the wool perforated face mask yep. again center front zip and chest pocket you can take that fanatic hoodie you love and if you always wanted it in wool now you have that option yep. right and so for that whitetail hunter you know who's always trying to chase scent and keep it as minimal mm -hmm. as possible this is a great opportunity but also for us big game hunters right who yep, are going to hunt later properties. season um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about these two pieces, especially because this is something that, you know, we've never had and really didn't exist on the market, but we had, you know, tried and true uh, consumers of that on the synthetic side, right? Mm -hmm. Me being one, probably you being one. Yep. Um, now we have that option in wool, so that's super exciting to me. And so the great pieces too for, you know, busting through brush, it's like you got that durability now built into it. It's gonna last you a long time. Great marina wool properties. Sounds like a win-win. Yeah. And so, one more piece I want to talk about. This one, about. I like that's in front of me right now because yeah. this is probably one I am super, super excited yeah, about. Yeah, so, you know, this is our first zip off base layer. And this I'm glad is, to hear that. This is going to be represented only in the heavyweight 330 yep. gram. Um, the idea being at our 120 gram base layer bottom, it's so light. You're probably, if you're going to put that on, you're probably not going to take that off mm -hmm. during the day. But when you start applying heavier weights of, of wool, that's something where, oh, the day's heating up, like say elk season, right? Or even those early mm -hmm. or kind of mid season mule deer hunts, man, I need to zip off those bottoms. Um, we wanted to provide that in a heavyweight. It's going to be in a three quarter length. So the idea being they're not tucked inside your boots. Yeah, which is great. You literally just have to drop trowel zip them off, they're full zip, and you're done, right? You don't have yep. to deal with your socks or your boots, anything like that. You can put them back on, um, you know, just as quickly. I really like this feature right here. I saw too. I so the, about. the reason, Got color good, good eye, the reason one side is, is tan and one side is black is because once you unzip these, it's like when you're trying to put them back on, it's like trying to put a diaper on a baby, which I'm not an expert at, yeah, but I, the couple times I've tried, it's been really difficult. Yeah. And so by color coding, Black to black, tan to tan, and you can zip them right Super back quick. on, right? How does it work with the intercept pan? Uh, you'd still have to drop. But like you, like you can actually reach down and I can- You, I, you I, could. I can actually like double, you know, open them up. Yeah, so the intercept pant has big hip vents yep. without uh, mesh. Yes, you so could. I, so I could be wearing both of these and I could, you, you know, could. vent this one, vent the other. You could. The other I'd side. love to see that video. If you do it, like I'll post it. <laughs> Um, I that. have not tried that personally, but yeah, yeah. you absolutely could because yeah, exactly. those, those hip vents are really big. Mm -hmm. You know, you can run knee pads in and out of them. Yep. Um, the other thing we did just as a, as a little touch is we wanted to roll the zippers just around to the front. I noticed just, that. Just a bit. Yeah. And the reason is because uh, if they're on the side and say, you know, you've got a pack on or you've got your optics harness and you can't quite see what you're doing. Oftentimes on the side, it's a little difficult, right? Especially yep. to start a zipper or pull a zipper off. Whereas if we roll them to the front, I can look down, I can see that. And then as you zip down, they roll to the outside. Mm -hmm. So just that little bit of feature to make it more convenient for people when they're doing this. Cause you know, sometimes you're doing it at night, right? Sometimes yeah. you may be doing it in a tree stand. So you wanna make sure that you have accessibility to those zippers. Yep. Um, this. Uh, heavyweight also comes in just a traditional length, but you know, really excited for the first zip off base layer we've had, and then these two pieces hit. as well. Um, so we have a full merino program now, three weights, all armor spun, um, represented in depending on the on the silhouette and the, and the weight, every pattern, and then solids as well. So really a, a complete program this year. It is a true program, like you said, it fits everything that. that Whitetail, big game, renewable properties, zip offs, <laughs> three quarter length, which is perfect, my style. Like, it's checking all the boxes that, you know, pieces I've been excited about for years, and now they're in a new merino. Yeah, Pro well, we're excited to get them out in the wild. And, and when, when are they available? This, this summer? Uh, this summer, yep, um, mid to late July. Okay, so yeah, we'll have them in the Gohan Gear Shop. You guys can check them out, purchase them, 
get the gear you need for this coming hunting season. So I greatly appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to uh, look at these a little more details right now because <laughs> I'm really excited about them. I especially love this piece, but these other pieces are going to be great additions to my hunting kit. So appreciate your time, Jim. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.